I get a lot of comments saying, hey, when are you going to upload that video where we can connect our PS3 controller? That is today. What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at how we can connect our old PS3 controller to our beautiful handheld console, the PS Vita. And right now I do have this amazing plugin enabled where I can see the screen or uh, screen record it onto OBS. And I do have a full video tutorial on how to do this. And I'll have that link in the description down below and also somewhere on the screen here that way if you're interested in doing something like this and streaming your gameplays or record your gameplays you can do so if you haven't already seen my ps4 controller setup i'll have a link to that video as well in the description so uh, the two things we're going to need in order for our ps3 controller to work on our vita is number one the plugin and you have to have custom firmware running on your vita in order for this to work obviously and you can be on 3.73 or lower 3.60 3.65 whatever as long as you have custom firmware and homebrew enabled second we're going to be using a program or utility called six axis pair tool and that will allow us to pair our controller to our vita and then we can go back to our physical controller and then enable it through Bluetooth. So let's begin by installing the plugin and I'll go through Auto Plugins 2 to install this. And if you don't have this application yet, I'll have a link to the VPK along with my video tutorial on how to install. It's very easy to uh, get it set up on your Vita. It doesn't take too much. So let's go into Vita Plugins, Install Plugins, and we're gonna go down to the D section. And we're going to install the DS3 Vita by Zerpy Beta 3. So let's press X. And now the plugin has been installed. You can see the green dot there. And the description says control your Vita with a DualShock 3. And we have to restart our Vita in order for the plugin to take effect. So what we're going to do is press start to exit auto plugin. And then it will auto restart, which is nice. All right, looks like it's all restarted. Good to go. And now head on over to the first link in the description down below, and that will take you to dancingpixelstudios.com. And here is the six axis pair tool. And depending on what kind of computer you're running, here's for Mac OS X. And we're going to be doing this on Windows computer. So here's the download link. And the size is 25.7 megabytes. So let's click on that link. Let's click on show in our folder. Here is the setup tool. So I'll double click that. And here is my user account control. So it's just asking to allow this app to make changes. Say yes. And we're gonna go through the wizard setup, the setup wizard, and just install this application here. completing the six axis pair tool finish so now let's search for that let's open that up do you want to allow this app from your unknown publisher to make changes say yes so here is the application let's click out of there now what we're going to do is connect our ps3 controller to our pc so i have my cable here ready to go and as soon as I plug it in, it should read the controller. And there is the installing driver window. Installation can take some time. So we're just gonna wait for the six axis pair tool to install the driver and we will be back. All right, so it looks like it's done and you can see the Mac address of the current master of this controller. So this is going to be my PS3. And what we want to do is type in the MAC address from our PS Vita. So you can see the Vita right below me here. And we are going to go into our settings. 
and this is where you will find your MAC address. Now I'm gonna have to use another program for this because I do have it concealed. So go into your system, go into system information, and here the MAC address that's shown, you want to type exactly what's here into the six axis pair tool. So I'll be back as I'm gonna use another application to look up my MAC address and go from there. Now if you're interested in which application I'm gonna be using I'll be going with fingerprint and this shows everything about my PS Vita. Under model and hardware I have my MAC address and everything else that's going on with this Vita. So if you're interested in installing this and taking a look at what this application does I have a video on this too so I'll link that in the description down below. So let's type in the MAC address here and make sure you don't share this type of information to anyone as they can get into your system and do all sorts of fun stuff with your information and that's the last thing you want. Now that we have our MAC address in the change master before we hit that update button we must do one last thing and it's very critical that we do this or else none of this will work. So we have to add plus one at the end of our MAC address. What does that mean? So if your MAC address is ending at, for example, 56, you're going to have to add plus one to that. So it would be 57. Now, if it ends in a letter like mine, for example, I have 12 colon 8E, I will go up to 12 colon 8F. So alphabetical order. So A, B, C, D, E, F and then so on and so forth. So if you have a number, it's very easy. If you're at nine, I'm guessing you would have to go to zero. You just start up again. So if you have a number like 88, go up to 89. If you have 8E like I do, go up to 8F. And that's the only way this will work. So I'm going to change that right now. And we're gonna hit that update. And now the current master should have the MAC address you just typed in. And now your PS3 controller is configured and ready to be read from the PS Vita. So that's what we're going to do next. Head back on our Vita here. And you don't have to be in the system settings in order for you to do this. You can simply hold the home button or the PS button and make sure your Bluetooth feature is enabled. Just like that. And we're just going to go into our settings here and show you where it's located. And we're going to go under devices, Bluetooth devices, and make sure that's checked off here, the Bluetooth feature, and it says not connected. And you'll also see the icon at the top of your Vita along with your Wi-Fi uh, icon. So let's disconnect our PS3 controller from our computer. And all we're going to do is press the home button or the PS button at the top here. Or I'm sorry, I said top, the middle, sorry. So let's hit that. There we go. So I just got it connected. There it is and it's still flashing so I'm not sure why it doesn't want to hit the one but it should start working you can see right there that I have the Vita here and on this hand I'm moving it around now before I did this tutorial it did hit the one LED at the top but it's still flashing on here I'm not sure why and if you hit the home button Let's go into our system settings and see what we got going on for our Bluetooth connection. And I didn't really see it connected there. So it's just constantly flashing, but it does work. You can see there. And I hit the home button and we can go back. And the analogs work just fine. There we go. You can see I have both hands here, not touching the Vita at all. and the trigger buttons left and right perfect 
and I will go into let's just check out um, I don't know what should we do here for a test there's nothing quick to play actually let's go into Vita fighters start that up and let's go into arcade you can see and I will pick Ryu or Ryu Hadouken oops I guess I have to press start or I'm not sure what's going on here I have to press start or I could just do training yeah I'm not sure why but uh, I was pressing X in arcade but it, it wasn't working I'm not no, I don't know what's going on there so we're gonna go against Dimitri and I'm KFM Alright, let's see what we got going on. So I can't use the analogs, you can see, but I am using the D-pad. And I'm using square to do basic combo. Here's triangle, here's circle, here's X. That was a special move. Trigger buttons do not work in this game. Obviously, because it's just a homebrew. It's a regular homebrew game. But that is how you connect your PS3 controller to your PS Vita. And I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions whatsoever. Leave them down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot, especially with the whole YouTube algorithm. And that way... I can be brought up in the search results and help other people out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.